Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to a review of the 171 Classic Train Set. Oh man, look at this. So this was something that I won at an auction back on June the 3rd, along with the Metroliner and the High Speed Train. Now this was very exciting, but at the same time a bit of a disappointment because, first of all my dad has already bought the set before in the past, so it wasn't you know, too exciting. Another problem was, this set was not complete. There were so many parts in here that didn't belong to this set. So if I open the box a little bit now, which is quite cool, you can see there's all the base pieces that would go there. We'll get to that in a moment. But there's so many red parts and not Lego parts in that box. I don't know, why is that there? But at the same time, it is an auction and you have to deal with it. But ultimately, you know, we got this, and I'm happy with this. So, one thing I do want to point out as well, because we have one of these before, I don't know what set has these, but these are the short bases for the, um, the actual, like, wagons itself. The base plate is a piece that has a gap in the middle where you would put a motor, but I've got one of these other longer ones to go there, and... It's a pretty good substitute because you're supposed to have a motor in the other one where it would just sit in through the hole in the middle. But I'm not going to flash with that because I did buy a motor set along as well. It's actually up there. But it doesn't work, which is a bit of a bugger. So I'm not going to flash with that. But getting back to the train set, it is really cool. So why don't we actually take a look at it? So this is the engine. A very, very simple design, which is to be expected but it does take quite a good shape so you can see the boiler it's got the slope pieces the funnel has a couple of other colored bricks as well for some new details i am missing one of the lamp pieces but i'm not too fussed about that to be honest one thing i am quite fussed about there's only two 171 stickers in the box but they don't stick to anything so they're both knackered which is a bit upsetting to be honest, but at the same time it's to be expecting, that's what I think is going to happen anyway. So, going to the cab, it's pretty damn nice if you ask me. Those special old classic doors, looking good. Got some windows going on there. I'm assuming this is a tank engine then, because first of all there is no tender. And second of all, there is a back wall against the cab, so yeah. The roof is actually something I've had to make up myself it was I believe it's supposed to be a 6x6 plate and another like a 4x6 maybe going along that way I don't know how well you can see it but it's actually not that it's a 4x6 with a 2x6 next to it and a 4x4 plate on top keeping them together Ugh, come on got there we go one-handed so we're going to move on to the first wagon now, which is, again, very simple, but I do like it because it reminds me of the rocket. Um, so actually, that's a good idea. Afterwards, I'll get the rocket and see what that looks like. So again, the classic door pieces, which is really nice. It does have a blue like, outline to it, which I think looks very good. It's very colourful. And despite the simplicity, it is very nice. I do like that. It's got me some, it's, no, he's giving me some ideas. For stuff I want to work on in the future. Moving on to the second wagon. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, to be honest. If you look at the picture, it's actually got one by one bricks there, but there weren't enough one by one bricks in the set. Instead, we had more two by ones. So if I had to use that to support it instead, not too good. Again, it was an auction piece, so to be expected. Now, the only thing I could think of this being are tree logs. And it's gonna, if that's the case, it's going to be odd to the fact that they used yellow. But again, I'm not sure what it is. So if anyone has any other ideas, please let me know because it would be you know, nice to be corrected. But still, looking at that idea, it is actually quite good. Now, it's got something along there and it's protected, it's kept down. I like that. But my favourite wagon, obviously, is the hopper. Look at that. So I'm going to have to switch hands one sec. So this is the idea of, you know, there's nothing keeping it down, but it basically sits in the gap between those studs there. And you just tip it like that. 
and it's actually more sturdy than you think. It's very simple, but it works. And it's really nice. There were only two of these singular slope pieces, so I had to find another two for the other end of the wagon, which isn't good because you know, I was a bit upset with that. But at the same time, I'm not gonna fire us with it because again, auction piece. And besides, I have so many more bricks just laying around that I can actually get those parts needed and replace them should it be necessary. So as a whole, this set is a favorite. Like, it's learning my roots as a train fan for LEGO. And I do have some more of these uh, simple base plates, as I pointed out earlier. So I will be making some custom wagons and maybe have a couple of plans for the train. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all ever so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.